time for a new bookshelf. I have been slowly collating a load of books here that don't physically fit my shelves anymore and it's getting ridiculous. It's almost as tall as me and I feel like it's time. It's time. You can probably see from my setup I have Billy bookshelves, I have one big one, one skinny one, one big one. And I think I just about have room for another skinny one here if I move over my plant shelves a little bit. So my plan is to go to Ikea to go get another one of the skinny Billy bookshelves so that I can expand it a little bit more because it's ridiculous. I can't, I can't do this. And every time I wanna read a book that's on this stack, it falls over, it's a whole palaver. And so I think we're overdue and I'll never say no to an Ikea trip. And the kicker is that my boyfriend is back and he loves building Ikea things, I hate it. So I'm just gonna supervise while he builds it for me. And then I'll reorganize the shelves. I'm gonna do a bit of a bookshelf reorganization session and then I will be doing an updated bookshelf tour as well because I have added a lot of books to my physical TBR recently so I feel like we need to go back through it and I'm also planning on maybe even doing an unhaul as well I might do that just before I reorganize them once they're already all off of the shelves and whatnot do a little unhaul with me bookshelf organization bookshelf tour all of the things so why I'm gonna cut to us going to Ikea picking up a new shelf building said shelf and then reorganizing my bookshelves <laughs> <laughs> it is now a few days later and i have officially got my new shelf i think i showed you us building it and by us i mean my boyfriend doing literally all of it and me just standing there handing him like screws or something but we now have another one of these i hope you can now see the vision i have one wide one one small one one wide one one small one and then i've got my plants over here i think this is the most i'm gonna be able to fit in this room because I have nowhere else to put my plant shelf. So it's kind of gonna have to stay like this, but I think this should give me enough room to put all of the books on. I have just done an unhaul as well. I think you'll be seeing that possibly maybe this, it'll already be out. I don't have like a proper schedule as to when I'm planning on putting all of those out. And so I got rid of, I think only like 20 books, but it still gave me enough room, hopefully, to be able to fit everything back onto these shelves. I do obviously still have my TBR cart, but some of those books are not TBR books. They're just books that had nowhere else to fit. And I have all of my stack down there that used to be my big leaning tower of Pisa that I had that are on the floor now that are a lot of TBR books as well. So I think my plan is to basically keep it quite similar, but I think I need to shuffle them along and maybe do a bit of rejigging. This should give me enough room to have like a nice proper all the way across Sarah J Mass shelf still with some maybe on display over here. I needed more room for my fantasy books anyway. So I think that will give me enough room to have these two stay as fantasy ones and then have the rest of them be romance and also get some of the books over here back on the shelves. So do a bit of a rejig that way, but I'm planning on the basis of it looking quite similar but just having better organization and better room <laughs> essentially so i'm gonna crack on with it i think i'm gonna start with shuffling these ones along and then we will start dispersing the ones that i've bought recently onto the shelves as well
well you can see it but I think I'm done the top shelf of these. I ended up moving my Brandis Sanderson books over to here and making a little stack out of them. We have basically the same here apart from the fact that I've kind of integrated my fourth wing books here and then I've kind of followed a similar thing. I'm not sure how I feel about this one over here because it's a bit all over the place but that's kind of the best I could do because I wanted to fit it all on one shelf across here so that this one could be my Sarah J Mass one and then we can work down from there. I'm hoping that it works out. I can always rejig it if I need to but I think that looks cute as it is. These two shelves specifically I really like, but the rest of them gets a little bit murky, but we will see. sure how I feel about it but I've ended spreading these ones out so that I have my tour edition of Crescent City facing out the way. This shelf you can't quite see but the one that had my Throne of Glass stuff on is staying the exact same because I really liked how that looked. I ended up putting my special edition facing out the way and then I just have my random copy of Silver Flames that doesn't really fit in with everything else sat there as well. And then this is my Akatar shelf that also now has a little bit of Crescent City on it as well. And then I have Court of Mr. Fury facing out the ways, but I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. I think I'm going to crack on with the romance section now. I need to disperse some of the ones that I've recently bought and decide which ones are going to sit on my TBR cart versus on my actual shelves. So I need to have a little think of that. I think that's what I'm going to do next is divide things up into my TBR that I'm really desperate to get to so that that can sit on my TBR cart and then the rest of them we will disperse into my romance section. Okay, here is my TBR cart. I'm going to go through this. Some of the ones I have set up here are ones that I have on my like immediate TBR that kind of can sit on the rest of the shelves because they're ones that I was reading this month but I kind of want to disperse them back like redeemed kind of needs to sit with the Dirty Air series that kind of thing so I'm just going to go through these and decide which ones are going to stay on my media and then I also have my big stack of books that I will show you that kind of need to go on here as well and also need to go on my shelves so we will see. I'm not sure how well you can see but I've got three big stacks here of books that need to go onto my shelves and then I have a slightly smaller stack over here that are books that I'm going to put on my TBR cart because they're ones that I want to get to quite immediately so I think I'm going to go put my TBR cart back together and then we will tackle getting all of these onto the shelves somewhere.
Okay, my camera overheated, so I had to take a little break that I didn't really want to do, but I kind of had no choice. But I have made quite a lot of progress. I thought I would check in with you really quickly now, just while I can, to show you, I guess, what we've done so far and maybe some areas that I want to switch around, but I'm not sure yet. So far, we've gotten all of the series. I kind of have like my favorites shelves up here. So I have my Elsie Silver over here and then some of my like hockey romances. I liked the fact that I had all of those together. So I have all of my hockey romances here, a few more sports romances, and then my random little Lily Gold series that kind of fit perfectly here. I then put all of my, I don't know if you can even see that, put my Addicted series here, my random Jennifer Hartman like Lotus and Still Beating copies here, my new copies. I then have some Lauren Asher, my Abby Jimenez selection here, which are all very mismatched, which is not very nice to look at, but this is just how they are. And then I have my Emily Henry towards the end here as well. I'm thinking of possibly moving this to the end and having them kind of start here instead because this looks a bit weird just sat right there but what can you do and then towards this end i did a kind of miscellaneous bit here i have some tessa bailey and then i have my nikki sloan series and then i have a little rainbow of all of my random books um seven year slip is sat facing outwards at the moment because i want to find somewhere to display it because it is one of my favorite books ever but i don't really know where i'm gonna put it so for now it's just sat there but i have like a mini rainbow shelf here to pay homage to my old rainbow shelves which i loved but everyone hated <laughs> because that's what my shelves used to be before. These shelves, I had a full rainbow shelf. Also tried to carry on the theme of having more series. So I have some Eleanor Armas books, my Megan Quinn. I have some of my Talia Hibbert, my random two little Mia Sheridan books. My Eden series, one of my Sophie Lark series here, some Sierra Simone, my Sarah Kate, and then my Laura Thalassa and some more Anne Huang up here as well. And then I have a couple of more series here. So I have Emily McIntyre, um, my Runix, and then my Maddest Obsession, Sweetest Oblivion, whatever they're called, books here. And that's the point that I got up to before my camera overheated. So I also accidentally knocked over <laughs> my TBR car when I went to open my door. So that's all over the floor now. So I need to rearrange that. But I just have some random little miscellaneous books now just sat here that aren't in series, but are just kind of standalone romance kind of vibes or are in series maybe. And I don't just don't have the rest of the series. So I need to figure out where to put them. But I think we are almost done. I'm anticipating maybe a few more shelves along here. I need to rejig the bottom and then we should be done. Or at least we should be done in theory before I start then switching things around because I don't like how it looks, but we will see. officially all done with my shelves. I find it so strange that I'm looking in the viewfinder and it takes up the entirety of my frame because it used to be like this and now because of this extra bit I've got it's just completely the full frame. Anyway I think I finished. It didn't take me as long as I was expecting it to and it's not perfect but I have a feeling that I can just move things about as and when I need to. But as for right now, I think it works. I've redone my TBR cart because I tipped that over. So that's all sorted and that's only like half full. So that's nice. And the rest of it is on my shelf. So I'm gonna quickly run through it with you guys so that you can see. I will be doing an in-depth bookshelf tour, like a proper one going through everything. So stay tuned for that. This is just gonna be a very, very quick overview of what I've done. It looks quite similar in a lot of places, but some things are quite different. So I'm gonna show you bit by bit 
what I have done and then I will do the full bookshelf tour in a separate video. So this is a quick overview. Like I said, quite a bit of it does look similar to how it looked before, but I have made some changes. So on this shelf, I have some of my fantasies and my Brandon Sanderson. I added my Tress of the Emerald Sea and I added Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies as well. And then on here, we have some of my fantasy series, some more fantasy series on this one as well. And then this is more of my either standalones or books that aren't big series or that maybe I don't own every book in a series. This is a weird one because it was kind of meant to be my Court of Thorns and Roses is one and I have my Court of Silver Flames but then these Olivia Blake books wouldn't fit anywhere else so I had to put them there. This one looks exactly the same. This is my Throne of Glass shelf. I then have my Crescent City shelf which looks slightly different because I've now got my Tor edition facing out the way and then this is the remainder of my Akatar shelf with a few of my Crescent City books on the other end but mainly Akatar. This is probably one of my favourites. This is my Elsie Silver Shrine so I have the Chestnut Spring series and then the Gold Rush Ranch series and then I have Wild Love as well up here. These are some more either favourites or series so I I have my Icebreaker series at the start, my Windy City series, my Done and Dusted book. I then have Behind the Net and the Fake Out and then the Offside series as well. Pucking around the Consider Me series, the First Down series. I don't know what that series is actually called. And then my Lily Gold books as well. This one looks practically exactly the same. I have my Sophie Lark series here and then my Anna Huang series, some Lucy Score books and then my random little Lynn Paint books on the end here as well. This is more either series or just groups of authors. So I have my Ali Hazelwood books, my Ella Mays books, my Seven Year Slip because I didn't know else to put it. I couldn't find anywhere to put it facing outwards. BK Borison and some Sarah Adams as well as one random limb paint book that didn't fit on the end here. And then my Magnolia Parks Daisy Hates books and my Binding 13 series as well. This is my Addicted series as well as my two random Jennifer Hartman books as well. My Lauren Asher books, some Abby Jimenez, some Chloe Lees and then my Emily Henry bit at the end. All of my Tessa Bailey as well as my Nikki Sloan book. This is my random little rainbow shelf as well. So this is all miscellaneous romance books that either standalone books or are ones that maybe I don't have the entire series for. Some more series here or groupings of authors. So I have my Eleanor Armas books and my Megan Quinn and then some Talia Hibbert and some Mia Sheridan with a random K. Tucker at the end. This is even more series but these are kind of the like darker ones by colour I mean because they look nice together. So I have my Eden series as well as some Sophie Lark, Sierra Simone, some Sarah Kate, my Laura Thalassa and then my Anna Huang series as well. A few more series. So I have my Emily McIntyre series, my Runix and then my Daniel Laurie and then my random Jennifer Hotman original copy of Still Beating. I then have my Marina Zapata book and then a load of random romance books as well that didn't really fit anywhere else. I then have my Christina Lauren stack and then my Taylor Jenkins Reid selection. This is where it gets a bit fuzzy because I have some random romance books here that again didn't fit anywhere else and then all of this is like either thriller or horror books that kind of continues onto this shelf as well. And then I have my random little Harry Potter series as well at the bottom. So that is it for my bookshelf reorganization. I hope that you enjoyed. That didn't take me as long as I was thinking it was. So I'm quite happy about that. I know that these videos sometimes bring in some new people. So if you enjoyed, feel free to stick around, like and subscribe, all of that jazz. All of my links are down below as always. Like I said, I'll be doing a proper bookshelf tour as well for you guys to see. So that should be coming hopefully shortly after this video. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you whenever I next see you.